the biggest Shark Tank deals ever. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the biggest Shark Tank deals ever. Let's get right into it. Breathometer. In 2013, Charles Michael Yim, a young entrepreneur, entered the tank and presented his product, the Breathometer. It is a device that claims to measure blood alcohol content by attaching the widget to your smartphone and letting it do the work. Mark Cuban, the billionaire owner of the Dallas Mavericks, agreed to a $1 million investment for a 30% stake in Yim. Two weeks after the aired episode, Yim is partying in Las Vegas and on an island-hopping escapade on Necker Island with some peers. Isn't that early to count chicks from unhatched eggs? Moving on, Cuban saw his Instagram post and nagged him about his activities, reminding him that he was supposed to be working. Yim responded by making excuses, claiming that it was just business networking. Lark Lark is a self-cleaning stainless steel water bottle. Its cleverly engineered ultraviolet C LED technology eliminates viruses, bacteria and mold that causes foul odors. Justin Wang, the company's co-founder, invented this on-the-go water purification bottle. Wang entered the tank and offered a $500,000 investment in exchange for a 1% stake. Wang's self-cleaning bottle resulted in a $1.5 million investment and a 4% equity stake in Lark. Kevin O'Leary and Lori Griner closed the deal. X-Craft The X-Craft was introduced in Shark Tank Season 6, Episode 5. JD Claridge and Charles Manning presented it, and the initial investment for their craft was around $500,000, and all five sharks shot some game-changing offers. This is not always the case because the sharks reject ideas. The panels agreed on $300,000 for a 5% equity stake after some negotiating and minor discussions with the duo. They were making a counteroffer of $1.5 million for a 25% stake in the company. There was a slight tremor for the X-Craft founders after their tour on the show, but this was not the end of their success. The company is still in operation and is currently worth $17 million. Rugged Maniac Former lawyers Brad Scudder and Rob Dickens joined forces with the company Rugged Maniac to create a short obstacle course complete with muddy slides, tunnels, fire pits and large scaling walls. The producers of Shark Tank sought them out and invited them to appear on the show. However, two lawyers declined and eventually agreed to take advantage of the opportunity to present their creations. Mark Cuban found himself a significant investment while they were in the middle of the show right after they pitched their propositions and initially offered them $1.5 million. Both parties agreed to invest $1.75 million and take a 25% stake in the company. 1031 Production 1031 Production appeared on Shark Tank Season 5 and received a $2 million investment for a 20% stake. It was regarded as one of the most significant investments in the show's history. For its seasonal treats to its audience, the production quickly spread across Los Angeles. Melissa's main goal is to expand and develop her business beyond its current locations. Mark Cuban, owner of Dallas Mavericks, did not hesitate to invest in the company because Melissa has demonstrated its massive revenue generation each fall. Sure, this would be the most successful Halloween-themed entertainment company in the world. Vengo Vengo is a touchscreen mini wall-mounted machine created by Brian Shimerlick and Stephen Bothell. They offered $2 million in exchange for 12% of Vengo, but the panel thought their valuation was ridiculous and refused to agree. Stephen Brian had already raised $3.5 million with a chocolate company, which they used to justify their high valuation. In this case, Kevin, Mr. Wonderful O'Leary and Lori made an offer that included a $2 million investment as a loan for 36 months with 7% interest and 3% equity. The duo accepted the offer and left. New Milk Food Tech Joe Savino and Ari Tolwyn stepped into the tank with a bottle of almond milk. Because it was created by a food tech company, the product's possibilities are endless. If they can do it with almond milk, they can do it with oats, cashews and so on. It piqued the interest of Mark Cuban, a successful businessman who has been a vegan for many years. He was impressed and immediately made an offer of $2 million in loan and investment funds, with the first million as an investment with 7% equity and the other million as a loan with 3% interest. This offer may be the best option for Joe and Ari. They gladly accepted the offer and left. Zips Zips is a single-serving wine with a recyclable and BPA-free container made of plastic stemware in the shape of a wine glass. Andrew McMurray entered the tank hoping that the sharks would like the novel idea. Andrew pitched his product and asked for $2.5 million in exchange for a 10% stake. 
Kevin O'Leary rose to his feet and began peppering Andrew with questions. The sharks inquire as to how Andrew's zips differ from other options. Zips has a one-year shelf life, according to Andrew. He offered Kevin a $2.5 million for 10% deal after he asked too many questions. However, according to the Small Business Journal, despite high sales, Zips Wine failed to generate profits in the first couple of years after the acquisition. With so many better established brands to choose from, Andrew McMurray decided that selling wine was simply not going to work and the business model needed to change. So Shark Tank's biggest catch became a business-to-business -business packaging company focused on its patented design rather than a business-to-consumer wine company. That's all for today, and we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.